All right. It is uh, January the 20th, 2019. Um, sun's in Capricorn, but today we're here to talk about the moon and the super wolf blood moon and all the hype on YouTube about it. Uh, I have a couple of references for what's going down here, but let's just watch it and see. I want you to see what's going on. Let me zoom in a little bit. And let's click it up to where it starts to go into its phase. It's a full moon, 100%. And it starts right there. At about 10.30, let's back it up, it starts to go into declination. It will go full blood about 10.30 tonight. See it getting smaller and smaller? That's when it's going red. There we go. So at 1045 in Las Vegas, it's going to be a full blood moon right there. What does this mean? There is so much hype on YouTube. My biggest problem is they're not even telling you what sign it's in. They're telling you it's in a different sign that it's in. And that's just crazy. You're never going to get a proper interpretation if you don't have it in the right house. In tropical astrology, I just want to pull my hair out. Now, this is very interesting here because the moon rules cancer. Cancer's the divine feminine. It's also the age of destruction and the destroyer, the age of the flood. Uh, it's cardinal water, and waters represent people. These are the people in your home. The water in Pisces are the, your associations, people you work with, go to school with. The water in um, Scorpio are the people you choose in your life, best friends, lovers. Now, this is about water. This is about cardinal water. In the Bible, there are two references to this, symbolically, that most people don't get. You, they read the Bible literally, they don't look at the metaphors, they don't look at the symbology, and they don't see it. So I'm just going to point it right out to you. One, this is where Moses turns the water to blood, where he takes his staff and he sticks it in the water and it turns to blood. This is water, this is cardinal water, this is blood. When you talk about a sign, uh, it's divided into three deacons. Uh, the first deacon coming in, the middle deacon, and the, the deacon leaving. This happens to be the masculine. This would be the neutral, and this would be the feminine, the creative force. The, this, so this is in the masculine destructive force in cancer. You take that for what it's worth. It's in, it's in the masculine side. And so this is Moses turning the waters to blood. In the New Testament, uh, if it was on this side, right, this is the destructive side. If it happens over here, then this would be Jesus turning the water to wine. Y'all see that? So here, it's a destructive force. It is Moses turning the Nile to blood, turning the waters to blood. That's exactly what's going on here. That's the story. So what happens after that story? The frogs come out of the water. That's going to happen here too. Because we have Uranus and Pisces, the other water sign. This, these are the water, the peoples, right? The, the, you go to work with, school with, church with, the groups, your Facebook, YouTube accounts. Uh, Uranus has already done his work here, and he left and went into Aries, but then he backed up, and now he's here cleaning house. There's no way to channel this energy. It's just uh, too late. Uranus is going to do what Uranus is going to do, and this too is about people, and they got to go. Mars is bipolar here. He, he don't know how to act. He's either happy, 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 or he's sad, sad, sad. He, he has no middle ground here, Mars, on the feminine axis of the mutable cross. 
Then we got the water over here. This is the only saving grace. Uh, funny, because that is Jupiter's job, is saving grace. Uh, unfortunately, in Pisces, he's neither saving nor gracious. Uh, but he is at 99%, almost uh, full. And then we have Venus. She's only 57% illuminated. But they're in the other water sign. So we've got Mars, Uranus, Jupiter, Venus, and the Moon all in this water battle. And the waters are turning to blood. So the help is going to come from your friends, from your friends and their heart. Again, this is water at home. These are the people in your family. And then Uranus is over here getting rid of people in your work, church, you. They'll move you from group to group. You're, a lot of people are changing group think. They're moving from one group think to another group think. And this is my take on the super bloody wolf super moon in Cancer. And we can continue to watch it as it comes out of it. Let me click back on it. That'd help. Oh, not in it. There we go. Watch it again. Funny how the moon, when it's bright, it blocks out the stars. Check that out. It even, Stellarium will even do that for you. So a lot of times when we're looking for stars, we need to turn off the moon so we can get that effect. All right, I hope this has answered some of your questions. I know there's a lot of hype on YouTube, but this is the way I see it. This is the way alchemy describes it. When the blood moon happens, then the frogs come out of the water, which causes the pestilence, and then the lo is it the locust after that? I forget the exact order, but I know the blood causes the frogs to come out of the water. And to me, Uranus is pushing the frogs out of the water over here. So the best thing you can do is to lean on your friends. It reminds me of that song, Lean On Me. Because that's where the heart is right now. All right. And all of this is opposite. Now the sun is opposite the moon to have that effect. Sun in Capricorn. Moon in Cancer. They're, they're putting the sun in where? Aquarius and the moon in Leo. They're putting it in air and fire. This is not about air and fire. This is feminine. And it's about earth and water. 